Hello Teamfight Trainers, I hope you're having a wonderful start to the weekend. I have an exciting Pokemon Go opening for you today. I finally got these boxes in. We are going to be seeing which box gives us the best hits between Team Valor, if we can fit it on camera here. We've got Team Instinct, and of course my team, Team Mystic. Uh, obviously, I'm putting all my bets on this one. If you play Pokemon Go uh, like I do, you probably have your team. I'm on Team Blue, baby. So we're going to crack these boxes open, see which one gives us the best hits, and hopefully this isn't a giant waste of money. So let's cut to cracking these boxes, and I will see you soon. Okay, so to keep things as fair as possible, I've taken everything out of the boxes, but we left everything in the plastic. Uh, so we'll go through these, uh, you know, plastic by plastic. I'm going to save my team, Team Mystic, for last, and we will start with the red team. Uh, so what I figure we'll do is I will show you on screen what the values of some of these cards are. Realistically, this set does not have a lot of heavy hitters. Um, and in fact, I already pulled the Altart Mewtwo in my last video, uh, and it is a quick and fast drop-off from there. Uh, I wanted to wait a little bit before I did this comparison video just because prices right on release date are like super overpriced. Uh, and, and they've sort of come down to a more normal. The set's been out for, you know, about a week, a little more than that now. Um, and we should be getting to more stable, stable items. The big prizes are obviously, you know, the Altart Mewtwo's, our Rainbow cards, and some of the Dragonites. Everything beyond that pretty terrible but luckily we're also trying to master set this so this won't be a complete waste of time um still looking for those radiant cards as well so that's how we're going to do this uh let's crack right into it okay candela you are first and actually looking at the prices candela is actually the most valuable of these three trainer gallery cards uh not by too much uh looks like she's going for about six bucks us uh, the other two are going for, you know, just under five. So we've got Candela, red box winning right out the gate. Uh, these pins are really cool. Um, you know, I actually really like these ones. I'm keeping the uh, the blue one for myself, and I actually got another box for my partner to use. So we'll put, can actually, I guess we'll sleeve it up. You know, some something I've gotten in the habit of is always making sure I've got some sleeves nearby. You never know when an accident can happen. Uh, I would hate to spill water on this stuff. Uh, so it looks like we've got six packs um, in each case. So good little uh, subset example of, of what you can hope to pull. Um, I love Pokemon Go the game. Uh, I love Pokemon trading cards. Uh, here's a code for you, by the way. I was looking for this. Uh, but the one thing I'm, I'm not loving is the pull rates on this. Uh, you know, it's a much smaller set, but it is not as fun to open as, as let's say, Celebrations was. You know, Celebrations also had a small set, but the chase cards in that were a lot of fun to hit. Um, you know, a Conkeldur V as your alt art is, is kind of brutal. So here's a code card. Uh, we'll do the pack trick um, on all of these, you know. It's it's fun. I love getting a hollow in every set or in every pack, but at the end of the day, I just, um, I wish it was a little better. We're still looking for the Ditto, so that would be sweet. Um, but we've got a Fighting Energy, hiding an Ariados with a Steelix. We've got a Zatu, a Palm hiding a Slacking V. You know, a, a Hit's a Hit. There's also weird cards like this in here. You know, I love me a good Slacking. Uh, you know, Conkledur is is cool, but it's just weird, you know? I, I get that you see them in gyms a lot and stuff, but... I would have rather had a Blissey V. Um, for those of you who've been watching me for a little bit, Blissey, Sylveon, and Butterfree are my three favorite Pokemon. Um, so, you know, Blissey getting done dirty and just being a normal card. I know she had an alt art come out a little while ago, but I want more Blissey. And when I think Pokemon Go, that is the tank. That is the one that everyone had in gyms all the time. You know, Slacking was a good second, but... Oh, hey, we got a Ditto, actually, so we'll open this in a second. But our last card here was Tyranitar. Um, I've never opened one of these, so I am going to peel this bad boy. Let's uh, not try to destroy the card. This is really cool. Okay, here we go. We are peeling. We got that beauty Ditto card. I'm super stoked to finally hit this one. So basically what this means is I am not going to peel any of the other Dittos. Um... You know, if if there was a gimmicky card that I would recommend holding on to, uh, you know, for you know, 
investment purposes, it would probably be unpeeled ditto cards. I don't see them doing something like this again anytime soon. This is the big gimmick to this set, aside from the Radiant starters and, and you know, the Mewtwo and stuff. Um, but if anything was going to be of value longer term, um, just based on a gimmick, it's probably that ditto card. They've never done anything like it before. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, just don't peel every ditto you get is uh, my recommendation. Apom, we've got Bulbasaur, we've got Piedove. Magikarp, Meltan, Dark Energy, Ibisaur, Pokestop, Unpheasant, Ufezant, Pikachu hiding, a Melmetal V Full Art. Um, this box is actually doing better than the ETB and some of the other things I've hit so far. We've had three packs and we've had three three hits. You know, yeah, none of it's the uh, the Mewtwo V Alt Art, but. I'll take this many hits, especially when you consider how many packs you open and usually only get the hollow. Uh, this has been a great start, especially that full art. Everyone hates on Melmetal. Definitely not my favorite Pokemon, but, um, you know, it's still pretty sweet. And we've got a Tranquil, a Larvitar, Natu, Ambipom, Slowpoke, Lightning Energy, Pupitar, War Turtle, another Pokestop. Natu is another hit, another Dragonite V. So this is actually a dupe. I have this one already, but I love the art on that card. It actually, I don't know, it, it's just unique. You know, it's not just a, a 3D rendering of it. It's a nice hand-drawn hand -drawn thing there. Uh, none of these cards, actually, I just saw something. There, there is something else in this one. This, this red pack might actually be uh, really, really hard to beat. So, let's see what we got here. We've got Bidoof, Onyx, Meltan. I'm wondering, has anyone else pulled um, pulled really fire sets? Like, obviously, you're only going to see the people who, who really hit post, but um, I'm curious what you guys have hit. Oh, my God, a Dragonite V-Star. That is amazing. This box is just fire. So, um, we're going to sleeve this one. I don't sleeve my Vs. Uh, you know, they're... 99 cent cards most of the time uh, the v-stars aren't too much better but i think the dragonite v if i'm taking a look at this right you know it's it's worth a couple bucks uh, and you know we'll take that i think our heaviest hitting card right now is actually the the melmetal v uh oh no sorry it's a ditto dittos are worth about 10 bucks us that's um surprising i, I wouldn't have expected that i thought they were more common than that honestly but i guess not Let's see if we can get six hits in a row. So we got the Slacking, the Ditto, the Melmetal, Dragonite V, Dragonite V Star. Are we going to go six for six? Is Fire just going to tear through this competition here? Fire Energy, Zolrock, Ariados, Charmeleon, Eevee hiding, a Hollow Gyarados. I needed this card, but it's not a hit. Still, pretty good box. I am uh, worried for my team now. We'll dive right into uh, Team Instinct next. Okay, we are going to dive into our Instinct box next, but first, we have our price total for that first box, and Team Red is leading the charge with about 25 USD in value. Um, for my Canadian folks, uh, just like me, that's about 32, 33 bucks total for a box that, you know, was about 30, 35 bucks. So this box, Roughly paid for itself. Got some hits we needed. Um, I think the big surprising factor of that is the slacking V. I, like, I know it's a pretty worthless card, but it was worth about 40 cents US. So it doesn't even reach that dollar. And that's part of why this set is, you know, it, it's difficult. It's not as fun to open because there isn't wor a lot of things worth anything in this set. Um, generally, you're safe with V cards being about a dollar, give or take. Um, especially someone like Slacking who doesn't have a lot of V cards. Usually you can bet on a first V card for, for someone being worth a little bit, but not quite there. Uh, we've got this Spark is our full art from the box. We will sleeve this bad boy up. Um, but it makes me worry for these other boxes because even doing the math there, um, you know, we got a lot more, we got five out of six packs get a hit and it still barely broke us even uh, this is not a set you want to open if you are trying to make your money back 
So we'll review all the cards at the end there, but let's grab our six packs and I'll get you that code card back there. And here you go. I don't know how much more Pokemon Go I'm going to be opening in English. I'm opening Japanese on my TikTok on my other account. Um, and that's fun. Uh, but I'm about Pokemon Go out and it's only been out for a little more than a week. That, that kind of sucks. Uh, it's, it's a fun little mini set between because I, I haven't gone too deep into Astral Radiance. Just because I went really hard on Brilliant Stars. And I really, really like Brilliant Stars. But I figure, wow, look at this. What is that? Ugh. Wait, how did I do this? One, two, three, four. Just like that. That better not be a Charizard. I'm going to be pretty salty. Um, yeah, this was a nice little break set. But aside from the EV Premium Collection um, part of this, I'm not really going to open anything else. Uh, I'm not going to collect any more of it. Maybe come back for the Dragonite box. But it's going to be a hard sell for me, honestly. Uh, I've enjoyed this set a little bit. Oh, it's not a Ditto. Damn. And it is hiding... Oh, that's weird. See this? It's it's um it's like miss. It's not even. It's only the back that's centered off. I thought it was just a miscut, but oh, that's awful. We got an Articuno. Uh, not a card I really care about, but we needed it, so I need it for my master set. Um, I am looking forward to opening up some Astral Radiance, but you know, if if you go in with the mentality in collecting and you want to, you know, master set every single set that comes out. You're going to be out of money. Again, look at this. Ugh. You're going to be out of money real fast. So, you know, I like to pick and choose. I spend a lot of my, um, you know, extra extra cash from work on, on Pokemon cards when I can, you know. I do my bills and other things first, but this is a hobby I've really enjoyed. So, um, I have to pick and choose what I really go all in on. Got a Snorlax Reverse hiding a Venusaur. This is, uh, you know, this is more the pull rate I was expecting for every box. I'm really hoping we still have more hits ahead of us because, you know, different boxes, different packs. But, um, you know, this could just as easily be uh, a front-loaded video where all our hits were in the first 10 minutes. I would really, uh, you know, I haven't hit a gold card from this set yet, actually. Um, I really don't want to get, like, the gold incubator, but that gold Mewtwo, man, that would be... That would just be the best. Got a Bulbasaur hiding. A Mel Metal V. I don't remember if I pulled this one yet. I actually think I have in another video. Um, you know, that thing's probably worth 12 cents, so we're not gonna sleep that. I'm hoping that that what they do with Pokemon Go is that this isn't just a one and done set. Um, because there are so many cool things you could do with Pokemon Go cards, like if they did a Pokemon Go set every year or every two years, like some little mini subset, but with better hit rates, I think that would be great. Because, um, you know, I do really love the art style a lot of these. Like, if you play Pokemon Go, uh, you know that Smeargle jumps in a bunch of the screenshot photos that you take of other Pokemon. Um, like, they do a lot of really cool things with the artwork in this. I just think the Pokemon they picked are kind of underwhelming. And... Hiding garbage. Look at all this beautiful, pretty garbage. I'm happy that it's Spark that's bringing us down because I'm not on Team Spark. Um, and it gives Mystic a better chance to not come in last. Especially right now, I think we're looking at, what, like $6 in value if you count Spark. This, uh, the only saving grace of this box is hitting a Gold Card Mewtwo, um, an Alt Art Mewtwo, or I think a Rainbow Mewtwo. Mewtwo is our only out right now. And that's uh, it's never a good spot to be in for a box. We've got Camerupt, an Egg Incubator, Slowpoke Hiding, more beautiful garbage. This is actually the, the promo card for the set that was like being given away at GameStop and um, Toys R Us and things like that. Uh, I got one copy of it. Um, really disappointing promo card. Uh, at least for Astral Radiance, I got that um, the promo stamped uh, Typhlosion. Uh, which, you know, I'm keeping it sealed. I'll put it in my collection, um, see what it's worth one day. But the Pikachu seal doesn't even have a promo stamp. It doesn't have anything different about it. So it's pretty disappointing, but you know, it's probably worth more sealed than uh, than opened, especially since it's literally that card. You couldn't tell the difference between them. Will this last pack have... Oh my god, we did it. Okay, 
it's not uh, anything huge, huge, but I think it is one of the, I'm gonna take a quick look here. This is, oh, it's not even like one of the top, top cards of this set. This card is actually worth less than a dollar. I'll have to double check, but I don't have this card. I needed this one for, uh, for my set anyways, so this is great. At least we got something out of this spark kit. Uh, definitely not $30 in value, but you know, a hit's a hit, we'll take it. Let's sleeve this bad boy up. The, what, the one card I got to sleeve besides the promo? Thanks, Professor's Research. And we'll crack open the last box and see who wins. Okay, so let's see the results of that last one. We've got it right here, and we pulled exactly $11 from that last box. Uh, not very good, roughly around 13, 14 bucks Canadian. Uh, we lost quite a bit on that. We had no real hits other than the professor's research, which is great. Um, it's another, it's a full out card I don't have to chase anymore. Um, but with prices like this, like, I'm just better off buying the rest of the set myself as singles, uh, not immediately, because the prices are going to go down a little bit. Um, you know, I said right at the start of the video that uh, that they're more stable. Uh, just because they're stable doesn't mean they won't go down further, right? Like, there's still a lot of Pokemon Go products that haven't come out yet. Um, so we'll, we'll get those. So we've got Blanche. Good, uh, good looking card. Um, Blanche, the, the promo for this one's actually the, the cheapest out of the three, I think by like 25, 30 cents. Um, nothing crazy, but you know, puts blue on the back foot right out the gate. Um, I will be proudly wearing this little pin. Um, I like the pins. These are actually my favorite pins that have come out so far. Uh, you know, I've got like the Lucario ones and the Charizard ones and things like that. The pins are kind of cool. Um, but these ones are actually like... Good quality thick pins. I, I, I like them. Uh, they're a nice little add-on for uh, for what you pay for the set. Uh, here is a code card. Um, and yeah, let's crack into these. Can we hit one gold card? Please, just one gold card or rainbow. Give me a secret rare. I'm missing all the secret rares from this set. Uh, here we go. We've got a Bidoof, a Magikarp, a Palm. Meltan, we've got a Squirtle, Water Energy, War Turtle, Slowbro, Lunatone, adding a Lapras Reverse into a Garbage Chew. Good start, good start. It can only go up from here, right? Unless we just pull that Pikachu five more times. God, please no. Um, the other thing I wanted to, to update in this video is uh, this will be my last video for a few weeks. Um, I've been pretty slow on videos lately just because I'm, I'm working on the business side of, of getting my shop up and running and things like that. Uh, but also I will be, um, I'll be out of country for, for a couple weeks, going to some delayed COVID weddings uh, for some friends. So hopefully um, once we get back, I've got the business side of things up and running again. You'll see a lot more videos, uh, more consistent anyways. There is something behind here. It's probably a regular V. But a V that we need. I've got the promo version of the Alone Executor, but a hit's a hit. We will take this one. So we've gone from garbage to slightly less garbage. Can we continue the trend? So what, from here we'd need a V Max and then a full art. And then, you know, an alt art and a secret rare. That's that's how this works, right? We've got just enough packs to make that happen. So let's see that V Max. Please give me that VMAX. Got Ambipalm, Slowpoke, Dark Energy, Charmeleon, Lore Module, Eridos, Natu, and a funny looking VMAX. Um, this is one of the, the hollows that I'm missing. Oops. Uh, one of the hollows I'm missing is definitely that Charizard. Um, but you know, there's a good chance I'll just get a million more of them. So, here we go. Uh, I'm still looking for the Radiant Charizard. I got the one Radiant card I really wanted, which was Venusaur. Um, out of my starters, uh, Venusaur or Bulbasaur, Venusaur, they're my favorite ones, so I'm really glad to have hit that. Um, oh, ooh, we see some shine back there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's something. It is a full art or a rainbow or something. I'm very excited now. Come on. What do we got? We got a Charmander hiding. Oh, Mewtwo V-Star. Okay. 
you know, it's it's not the rainbow, it's not the secret, but it's a card I need. So we've got both V stars from this set now. Uh, we're gonna sleeve this one up. I will take that. Pop you right in there. Thank you, Mewtwo V Star. Uh, right now, it looks like we've got a good chance at second place with Team Mystic, which uh, you know is better than last. But I feel like uh, this this is my team, right? It's it's got to come through. It's not just luck. It's not just blind heart of the cards. Here we go. We've got a Bibarel. We've got a Meltan. I'm pretty sure at this point I pulled every other card in the set. Maybe not the reverses. But um, I think that's why this set's less fun. You open a couple packs and you've already seen most of the cards. Um, so we got a Melmetal. I don't have that one yet either. So, you know, I've, I've got most of the hollows at this point, I think. I'm just missing... Um, so I think I'm only missing like two or three hollows. So here we go. Last pack magic to see if this pack can win. It needs to be a secret rare. It needs to be an alt art, not the Conkle Dur. That won't win us the game. But uh, Team Mystic, if you want to win, you know, give me some of that sweet, sweet last pack magic here. Jupiter, Chansey, Spark, hiding an egg incubator, hiding a second place because we got a... Golcio pod. Damn. Uh, I will tally up what this is worth and we'll go over the hits and close out the video. Okay, here it is. This is what it was actually a lot closer than I thought it would be, but it, Team Blue comes in second at about 20 USD or about 23 ish dollars Canadian. Um, so, really, the only box that paid for itself was red. Blue was pretty close. Yellow was a waste of money. Let's go over our hits from worst to best. So, Spark brought us the Full Art Spark, uh, and then a bunch of Hollows. We got one V, the Melmetal V in that one, and he did end us with a Professor's Research Full Art, so at least we got a decent hit out of that, just not worth too much. In second place, we had Team Mystic and Blanche, so we've got the Blanche Full Art, the Promo, we've got a bunch of Hollow Garbage. Um, it's actually funny, the Charizard, worth more than the Executor here, so... We'll put them together. Uh, there is like a huge set of print lines straight across that one. But from Blanche, we got this Mewtwo V-Star, which great card missing from my collection. So, and it's actually one of the top 10 cards in the set at like just under 10 bucks, which is so sad for the value. Uh, and then our winner is Candela. We got the Ditto, which is the big hitter of this one. We got the Melmetal V Full Art, a Dragonite V-Star, a Slacking V, a Dragonite V, and then some of this other crap. But Candela definitely brought it. A lot of low-level cards, but I hit in almost every pack. So this was definitely the most fun one I opened. Um, my recommendation, honestly, if you're trying to master set this, you know, take this as an example. I high-rolled on these packs, and I still came out with way less value than they were worth. Open some packs for fun, but just buy the dupes online. You'll save yourself a lot of frustration. Yeah, it's less fun. But this set is not fun to open after more than like 15 packs. We opened 18 packs here today, and we saw so many dupes. Uh, it's, I don't know, this, this set is like a solid 5 out of 10 for me. Um, thank you for checking out the video. Uh, I'm going away for a couple weeks. I will make more content when I'm back. Uh, if you could like, subscribe, share, all that crap, I would appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.